here we go. Boop. All right, so this is the little stand right here. And it, nothing special to it. I bought it ages ago. Sadly, I have a lot of this kind of stuff. And I say sadly because I used to have friends over and do stuff and all that. But, you know, I, I just don't have that many folks over for special occasions. So I don't really need something that, you know, will decorate the middle of the table, so to speak. Okay, so what we're going to do, and and this is the one from Dollar Tree, okay? It it has this label on it, um, but I just pulled the label off. You don't even need to do that if you're going to do this kind of thing. Um, now, if you want to use a napkin and use Mod Podge to put your napkin on, that's a whole different story. You're going to need to get this off, okay? But um, we're not going to worry about that today. Might not even get to it, but y'all, I kind of... Okay, I like steampunk, but not all steampunk. Oh, hey, Linda. I'm so glad you're here. Um, but y'all, I love this paper. This is from oh, Die Cuts with a View. And I'm sure I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I'm sure it was one of the, you know, higher priced, um, higher priced paper pads that I would have used a coupon on because you ain't, ain't nobody paying full price, right? So I just really love it. It's got the distressed, what I call Tim Holtz look. Oh, hey, Heidi. I love it so much. I don't even know if you can still get it. I've had it for a long time. But it's, um, you see what it is, okay? So I'm using this piece, probably this piece. And I thought I tore a third one out. I don't know. Was, no, 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 I didn't. I'm going to use rulers on two of them. And then I'm going to use um, the gears and stuff on another, okay? So it's going to be kind of cool looking. Or maybe I'll, maybe, I don't know what I'll do yet. Um, wrinkly pocket <laughs> instead of steam. You are so funny. Uh, hey, Heather, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining in. Guess guess who heated up their hot glue gun today? Mm -hmm. That'd be me. That's me. Me, me. Okay. So I got to measure this little guy. And I don't know if, I, if I've told y'all, but um, th this is my guest desk, which, oh, hey, Stacy, I'm so glad you're here. Um, this is my guest desk. It's just across from... Um, thank you. I love the paper too. All right. We're looking, I'm going to cut it 10 inches. So we'll have an overlap. Okay. Um, but it was Heather's desk when we lived down in Savannah. And of course it still is. If Heather ever wants to come at any time of day, she can sit at the desk. All right. Um, but, but yes, this is where my friends come to craft and, um, and I let them craft at Heather's desk. Sometimes it's Sally's desk. Sometimes it's Angela's desk. Sometimes it's Karen's desk. I mean, you know, y'all, that's that's just way. Okay. And sometimes it's Heidi's desk. Yes. Okay. So this is gonna be two and one, two, three eighths tall. Oh, eighths. Maybe let's do two and a quarter. Yeah, we'll do two and a quarter tall by what did I say? Ten. I think I said ten. Boop, yep, 10. Two and a quarter by 10. So, um, yes, I did. Well, I didn't really rename it. It's still yours. But if you ever come at any time of day, you, you get the desk, girl. You get the desk. Okay, so we're two and a quarter tall. I'm just going to put this in here. I don't know why I pulled that out. I don't need it. But this is the crappiest trimmer I've got, so I thought I would use it. Um, to, did I say crappiest? I did. I did, y'all. It just came out just like that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it where we got a black line at the top. We're gonna cut it a little differently than than y'all are looking at. So just a minute. We're gonna do two and a quarter tall. We gotta turn it this way. How many more times am I gonna call out that measurement? Two and a quarter. One more time. That's how. That's how many. That that does look bigger, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Now y'all know I might mess up. Oh, hey Marilyn. Hey Gloria. Hey Carol. New friends. Thank you, Carol. Yes, y'all. We have a new friend. Everybody say, Hey Carol. Welcome, Carol, with open arms. 
Oh, y'all, this is going to be so cool. Look at this. And, y'all, I've been looking at, thank you, Heather. I figured you would. I've been looking at these bland candles a long, long, long time. Now, they are real wax. So what I could do is heat them up with my little heat gun. And, um, yes, Hopper, are, how long is your recovery? And I've been praying for you. Um, I could heat it up with a heat gun and lay things on it because it's wax, right? But you want, you, you don't want to get crazy. Don't get crazy. You'll melt the stinking thing and then you'll be out shopping for more candles. All right. But first what we're going to do, I don't know if it'll work, but let's try. Okay. There we go. Hey, Carol. Everybody's saying, hey, hey. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this at 28 and a half, the size of my waist. <laughs> No. <laughs> I just wanted to see if y'all were paying attention. All right. And this is how it's going to go. Just like this. And I don't know. I don't know what else we're going to do with it, but let's see. Let's just see. I'm going to put some hot glue around here and let's get it started. Oh dear. I just put, put a gash in my little, in my little candle because, ow, because it's wax and I melted it with my hot glue. Oh, we do want to be straight. You know, you don't want to get a little crazy and make it kind of, you know, not straight. Hopper, you went back to work on Tuesday? Goodness. Who's the man? I was watching uh, Phil Robertson yesterday, and they were talking about um, who's the man. And um, I'm going to nominate Hopper to be the man. Because, yeah, I, I would I would probably still be at home going, oh, my hand. Well, I know I would. All right, all right, hold on. Got to put me another glue stick in here because, you know. All right, so now we're going to... This, this paper is thick, y'all, and it's glossy. Uh-oh. Oh, don't y'all start doing that mess now. It's popping up. It's glossy and it's thick, and that's why I'm not 100% sure how well this is going to go, but we're trying. We're trying, right? Oh, a bit hard-headed, Mr. Hopper? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got this on, and I could put like a little... Let's see what I got over here. I'm looking at my ribbons, y'all. I'm looking at my... Where did my ribbons go? Oh, you know what we could do? We could use twine. Where's my big old twine thing? Here it is. Oop. We can use twine. Now, y'all know these little wires here. This is, um, oh, my 3.0 hubby, Teresa. Um, y'all, I, I told my girls yesterday, I've had three husbands. I've had, I've been married to the same man for 45 years, almost, all right? But, you know, it's, you, you got to raise them right, right? Okay, so I worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. We had husband 1.0. And then... We went to husband 2.0 when he found the Lord. And I, 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 was, I was happy about that, of course. Well, now, y'all, we're retired. He's in there right now making muffins from scratch using a, um, a squash and blueberries. Y'all, it does not taste like squash. It is so stinking good. Um, we had a secret delivery of squash. I can't tell you any more than that. It was a secret. And um, and he made the squash um, he made the squash muffins with um, apples and pumpkin spice and I don't know what else, but y'all, oh my word, they're so good and they're perfect for a snack. And um, he he uses the um, stevia sweetener and stuff because, you know, some of us need to watch that kind of thing. Okay, this, as far as I'm concerned, this one's done. What do you think? I do know the muffin man. I do. So that's my hubby 3.0. He cooks. He, you know, since we retired, I was like, who are you? And why haven't, why weren't you doing this years ago, right? But I can't be, I can't be picky, can I? No. Let's look at some more paper, because that one went so fast. Let's see if we find something else in here we like. Okay, I mean, I love it all. There's a typewriter, a vintage typewriter. 
You can make zucchini taste like apples. Ooh. Yes, thank you. The twine is great, isn't it? I, I really, I really do like it. I really do. Um, zucchini tastes like... Ninja Man, you can make zucchini taste like apples. I think he's back at the blueberry bush, y'all. He said he needed some more blueberries. I think we'll do these sprockets. We're going to do these sprockets next. Or gears. I, I don't know. They're sprockets or gears. I don't know. All right, we're going to go, I think I want this piece like this. So two and a quarter with a 28 and a half inch waist. <laughs> right? Now that doesn't look big enough, but I know it is. Yep, it's big enough. It actually, I could have just, just a wee bit too big. All right, hold on, hold on. And, you know, we, um, we recovered these chairs, y'all. I say we because um, I was going to help, but he's really good at it. And I'm going to show y'all a picture of him. Um, I've already shown it before, but I'm going to show it again. That little blue chair right there. That's the chairs, uh, the chairs that we did, or he did. Anyway, they were, um, they were white and, you know, plain old basic Frenchy looking chairs. And he did that. He did four of them, y'all. And we've got just a little bit of finishing to do on them. And um, and we're and we'll be done. Now I'm looking at this just for I do like that, y'all. I do. I mean, look at look at how we're going here. Little vintage, little um Tim Holtz, little um Carol. I have an amazing husband, always been a provi amazing provider and a great cook. Yay! Thank you, Stacy. Yes, these are pretty, aren't they? Um, yay, Carol, that's awesome. Yeah, my 3.0 is amazing. Um, the 2.0 was pretty good, too, but the 1.0, mm -mm. I'd have given them back to y'all. Just say, come and get it. Of course, you know, I could be a, a 10.0 wife for all I know. He doesn't, he doesn't count that way, so I, I don't know. All right, because the other started melting my candle... I'm just going to go ahead and anchor this bad boy down before they start misbehaving. And I'm kind of smoothing it a little bit as I go because um, I put a lot of glue on there and I'd rather not have lumpies. I love the gears, Heather. Aren't they cool? And I mean, the, the thing is, y'all, if, if it were just me, I'd have pretty shabby, chic, cottagey stuff, right? Everywhere. But Ninja Man, you know, my muffin man, he needs, that's him in there gagging right now, but he's okay. He's all right. Um, he deserves to have some kind of manly stuff around the house too, right? And I don't, I don't mean just his recliner. I mean, you know, something where, you know, he doesn't have to look at pretty and floral all the time. It, I really wouldn't do a lot of floral, but um, I do a lot of uh, French shabby chic stuff. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I see it. I love it. And I don't buy it. That's, that's the story right there. I try to make it. Come on now. My little glue gun. You know what I want for Christmas? One of those Ryobi glue guns that, um, that you can charge. Um, you know, it's a rechargeable and it doesn't have a cord. Ah, oh, let's see. Gloria wishes her husband was like Carol's. Well, I mean, Carol might loan him out. I don't know. You know, just husbandsareus.com. No, you don't, you don't loan out a husband that good, do you? <laughs> oh, I told y'all about, I think I told y'all that we are going on a camping trip, but it's, it's not like out in the heat and sun and all that. Mm -mm, not this girl. I did that before and I'm never doing it again. But my friend Cricket, she and her family went on a boat, like a, like a, um, bed and breakfast, kind, not really, no, like an Airbnb. That's it. They stayed on a boat, y'all. And I was like, what? A boat? I got to turn on my fan, y'all. Dying over here. Um, so I was like, what? A boat? She's like, yeah, a boat. So I'm like, okay. So in looking for that kind of an unusual Airbnb thing or whatever you want to call it, 
um, y'all, I found that you can get, um, Carol, um, I have a box of candles. Yes, ma'am, you need to make this. You, Yeah, we have Ryobi stuff. Yes, they have a glue gun. It's rechargeable. It's fabulous. It's it's not cheap. That's why that's why Kathy Bohan got one sitting here. Um, but so in looking at that kind of thing, I, I came across RV Share. So it's all confirmed. We're going to Orange Beach, which is, um, I'm in Georgia, and Orange Beach is, is right on the border of Alabama and Florida and we have a campground and you know when I first saw it I thought I don't want to tow that thing and I'm sorry if I've already told y'all this but it's it's just so cool and I'm like I don't really want to tow that thing everywhere um and then it occurred to me well dang Skippy let them deliver it they live right by Orange Beach they're just they're going to go 10 minutes from home and deliver it how stinking cool is that right okay that's how cool it is yeah so um yeah they're just, all we gotta do is drive there that's all we gotta do and i'm i'm like hey sign me up okay so this twine is serving two purposes one it is keeping the the paper you know from popping off if it decides to try and do that okay and it is um also doggone decorative Boop, boop, right? You see how this is shiny paper? Yeah, and it's really thick. We're going to have time to try this. I, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to have time to try, you know. Hmm. I'm thinking on that tall candle. I'm thinking on it. Okay, now we're going to do I don't know. I kind of want to do this this here. Oh, that's what I'll do. Y'all, I think I'm going to get this gear and go around maybe no I don't know I don't know I think I'll do it right okay I know where I'm gonna do it I know I know I know okay I gotta get my little cutter out okay and y'all y'all know I'm a stampin up demonstrator right right well here's the story I mean that's that's my my I can't say it's my true passion because crafting is but um anyway stampin up y'all I need business so if you are a paper crafter of any sort and you need some fun amazing ooh, maybe this is what i want you want some fun amazing stuff let me know let me know i'm trying to uh reach a goal where i can advance and i am almost there boop and um my site is kathybow.stampinup.net. Oh, hey, Barbara, I'm so glad you're here, too. We are covering candles with some um, vintage Y'all, this is what I picked. I just, I love that. I love it, love it. I know my husband's going to like it, too. He'll be like, oh, yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really working on advancing my business my stamping up i've been i've been in this for over 10 years y'all and i love it so much now i've got just 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 a wee bit that i want to shave off here just just a teeny i mean it's probably a 16th but i don't do math so we're not going to measure it we're not mm -mm, we're not um but what is stamping up it is paper crafting it is scrapbooking and card making and 3d project making and i'm going to start doing kits that people can buy so they don't have to buy all the things you know making it all affordable and yada yada so if you or your friends would be interested in that uh come on this page on tuesday evening at 8 p.m eastern and see the things we make there because i'm always making something fabulous always always okay thank you jan this is die cuts with a view i'll show you the cover in a sec it's very vintagey um something decorative that i think my husband will enjoy as well and i'm just um i'm i'm probably i'm probably gonna have to come up with something to put and maybe y'all can help me come up with something to put on the wrought iron candle holder 
to make it even more cool than it already is. Oh, Teresa loves Stampin' Up! too. I know you do, girl. I know you do. Best quality stuff out there. Now, y'all keep in mind, when you put your hot glue on a wax candle, everybody's committed. I mean, it, it's like the, the wedding ceremony. They, they've done said, I do. They done said it. It's over. Okay. Whew. All right. I'm just going to snip this off. I think I can cut a relatively straight line, but not, not really. Not really. Don't be impressed. Okay. But yeah, so I, I was thinking on my project today, and I looked up, and, and I saw this thing sitting under the TV, and I'm like, that sure is boring. Should I change the candles? And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold everything. I got stuff at home. Oh, I haven't put any. I didn't put any stuff on it, did I? Hold on. We got to give it some of this, too. Now, we've done three strands on those, and this is going to be like the daddy candle. This is going to be the Mac Daddy, I think. So, I'm, oh, oh dear. Oh, let go. Mm. So, I'm just going to see. Nyoka, woohoo! <laughs> Got her catalogs yesterday, made her list out, and is heading out to make a loan. <laughs> I know that's right. I know it is. I know, I appreciate you. I do, sweet girlfriend. Um, but yeah, the, we have catalogs, and I'm not afraid to use them, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. Stacy got her catalog. Yay! I'm so glad. And y'all, that celebration catalog, you get something free for every $50 you spend. So, you know, that there's that. And um, super cute stuff. Super cute. But come back on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. to see me use some of that stuff. Right? All right, get off of my glue gun rude. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Boop. Okie dokie. Whew. There we go, y'all. Okay. So we've got this guy. And, and if you look close, he's got little gears. Um, am I too close? There we go. Got little gears. And this guy's got gears. Yes. And this guy has the ruler. So maybe this is the boss. Maybe he's the Mac Daddy. Let's look and see how we like it. Yeah, I'm going to put the ruler's guide because he he's the ruler. Get it? Ah. I'm going to put the, um, the sprocket guys. And, you know, I really want to do a bow. But, you know, it's, it's kind of like to give Ninja Man something nice in the house, too. Oh, that happened. Oh, that happened. <laughs> Everybody bail. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hold him on a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I was putting him on upside down. All right, y'all. So this is this finished. Okay. All right. Stay. There we go. There we go. Let's go this way. And then we go this way. Okay. So now we got candles. And of course, you know, um, bow or flowers. I was thinking of that and I, I just... I think it'll take me all afternoon to figure out how to how to further decorate it. But I do have this ribbon. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think on that later. We're going to work on that uh, tall white candle and see what we can make. See what we can make with it. Okay, I bought three of these. There's the third one. Because I was thinking I would do them at Christmas, you know, and maybe stand one up. Because they're all the same height. So what I would do is like use a little box and stand this one on it. And, um, oh yes, or burlap. Yes, burlap would probably be best. Um, use a little box, use another narrower box, and then have this one regular height. So it would be kind of like this on a display. And that's kind of what I was thinking. Put the jute bows on the little candles, like in front of them where it's tied, Nyoka, right like right here? Is that what you're saying? I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay. Oh, did y'all hear his phone just now? The, the, the ringtone. I have, um, camo ribbon. There you go. I have, um, a ringtone. Oh, I do like that. 
I like that. Nyoka, yes. Okay, Nyoka's suggesting this, and Teresa's suggesting, so I'm trying it, y'all. Um, I was thinking um, dressing up the whole wrought iron piece, but I, I, I just don't think. I think I'm going to put it here where the where the ribbons meet. Maybe? No. Put it here. Um, I was thinking of putting it all over there, and then it'd take me forever to figure that out. So, y'all, it's beeping, and he's he can't hear it. Give me just a minute. John P., yes. it's, it's beeping, honey. Uh-huh. <laughs> y'all. But, hey, I can't get mad. He's cooking. Use craft white pad to antique the candle holder. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Um, my, um... My little fireplace is that antique white. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, do we have a little bow? I like this, y'all. Oh, dear, he's going to start singing. I'm not responsible at this point. We do not offer counseling, nothing. We just, we're just we just here, and it's every man for himself. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to keep it manly, not girly. Seeing if this little piece will work. Nah. I need another piece. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it manly enough um, where he'll appreciate it and enjoy it and walk by every day and say, wow. Y'all know that's what he'll do, right? He'll just stand there and just, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the one with the, the ruler. It like this and like this boop yeah so he does most I, well all of our cooking lately he just does it all um he started cooking um i guess we're married about 40 years <laughs> he started cooking mm -mm, you know anyway i would rather change the oil in a car than cook a meal glory i have to do the same I tell him a lot when his phone rings. If I'm in one room, I have to call him when I want to talk. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm with you. Barbara, as I was watching your video, I kept hearing a faint beep. I kept stopping trying to <laughs> while I was beeping. Finally, you said Ninja Man was using the microwave and it was beeping. <laughs> oh, Barbara, when I went in to edit that video, I put a note in there because I kept hearing it too when I went to edit it and I kept pausing it and it's my own video and I knew, but I didn't, it didn't register. And I was like, oh my gosh, why does he have to cook every time I get on live? Two hours a week, two, and he cooks every time and things beep and beep and beep, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. Yes, I am, but it's okay. It's all right. Could be worse. Yes, dear. Oh, you want me, come here. Come here. I want you to show them your, your muffin. Y'all about to see his muffin. <laughs> come on in. Come on in. Come on. There you are. Woo. That's his muffin. Oh, he's delivering. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know I'm going to need butter and milk. Butter's in it. Is it really? Thank you. <laughs> oh, y'all. It smells amazing. And it's made with fresh blueberries. Oh, it's made with blueberries off the bush. He went outside and got the blueberries. Of course, we have a bunch of them. They're in the freezer. And y'all, Dollar Tree has the cutest little berry, um, the cutest little berry container. It's, I mean, I bought two of them, and I just love them. I love them because they're a dollar. And everybody's saying yummy, darling. <laughs> I love them because they're a dollar. Okay, y'all, we got them all done. All right? I love them with the little, with the little bows on them. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try it. I I don't know how this is gonna go. I've already cleaned. Oh, by the way, I did clean these um these candles with alcohol wipes. Okay, I keep these in my studio, and I also wipe down this one. So um you know, so things will stick to it. Let's see what I did here. Oh dear. All right, hold on. Could use this. No, you know what I really wanted to use? I, I used up, so let me grab another piece of it. Okay, I'm going to grab another piece. And uh, latecomers, here we go. Yes. 
do a taste test. Yes, ma'am. What service? Homemade and buttered, right? And he's going to come back with milk. I know he is. Um, thank you, Carol. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so if you came in late, this is the paper we're using. It's from Die Cuts with a View, DCWV. And um, I'm pretty sure I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I was saying earlier, I'm pretty sure it's it's the expensive one, but I would have bought it at 40 or 50 percent off. I, I don't I don't pay full price for them. Now, do I use them? Not always. Sometimes they're just beautiful and they're in my life, you know, and sometimes that's enough. OK. Oh, I love this. Oh, you know what? I did tear out one of these. I don't know where I put it, y'all. I don't. So I'm going to just. Yeah, no, it's not there. Um, alternate paper and twine on the long candles. Alternate paper and twine. Oh, 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 oh. I get you. I get you. Like, like, cut a strip, put it on the candle, and then come back and wrap with twine, and then come back with paper, and maybe twine at the top. Is that what you're saying, Jan? I think that would be gorgeous. All right, I have no idea how to measure a cylinder, so y'all, we are doing this. We are just going to do it the the old school way. Where's my cylinder? Here it is. Oh, all right, here we go. I, I do want the title on there because whoever wrote this back in the day, um, that they, they had to use handmade paper. So the least I can do is leave the title on, right? Right. Okay. And here we go. I'm just going to mark it right here for the link. I mean, for the, for the roundness. I don't know what that's called. Y'all, there was a time in school that I listened and there were many, 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 many days that I didn't. And this is, this is an example of that education. All right. All right. Here we go. Whoop. There we go. Y'all, I'm, I'm kind of slick on that. Okay, okay, that's what Jan's talking about. Um, Marilyn, for fall, you can add leaves and Christmas, add reindeer. Yes, yes, yes. I love to do that sort of thing. Um, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how big this is so I can cut it up. I was waiting on Jan, and she said that's what she's saying. So I'm going to try it that way. This is seven and three quarters. Oh, dear. So three and a half plus an eighth. Don't ask me. I... I, 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 I think I know what I'm doing. All right. Boop. There we go. Okay. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm very darn close. Okay. Here we go. So I'll do this one too. Um, here we go. Here we go. Boop. Okay. Now, y'all, like I said, I don't know how it's going to do on the glass. It could just be a training thing here to tell you what not to do. But let's see. Okay. We're going to go around the top. I love this paper. Sorry, I get excited. I'm so sorry. And yeah, I could just tape it there, y'all. But who needs tape when you've got a hot, hot, hot glue gun? Let's see. I do want that in the middle. I do want that to be my focal piece. So I'm going to do a snipper root here and a snipper root there. See what happens. How about that? And then we'll do the other piece the same way. How do y'all like my measuring? I mean, y'all, I I'm not I, I do have a measuring tape here. And I do use it on occasion, but not today. No, not today. Oh, Linda, thank you for coming. I'm glad you came. Got to see you soon. Oh, I will be seeing you soon. Love you. Okay, y'all don't y'all hang on. We're got, that was Linda. She had to go. But y'all, we're all, okay. We're doing this. We're doing it. We're doing it. And then I gotta go ahead and cut the other piece down. And see, there's a margin on where where Boudreaux wrote his love letter to Fanny. And um and now I'm I'm gonna have to cut it the same length. Boudreaux and Fanny. Yeah. I had an Aunt Fanny growing up, y'all. And I'm telling you, my brother and I could not understand why anybody, and, and forgive me if your middle name's Fanny, I, I love you just the same. But my brother and I, we could not understand why she was named Aunt Fanny. And we met her maybe twice. She was my grandmother's sister, so she was my great aunt. 
And um and I mean I we we just kept wondering was was her fanny huge and that's why her family named her after it. We didn't know. Um but but we speculated. We did, we speculated. And you know, as a grown up I feel kinda bad about that. But come on, you named your kid Fanny. What did you expect? Right? Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to get it lined up. Oh, I do want you higher, but you know what? You're okay. You're okay. Oh, this, y'all, this is going to work even better than the than the waxy candles. So much so that um, we may have, a, have to make some adjustments over here. There we go. I think that's fine. Nope. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> okay, so when you're working with glass and hot glue and paper, you are committed. All right, so let's just be committed. Let's just be committed. Here we go. I love this idea, Jan. I'm already looking forward to seeing the twine on it. Joe had an Aunt Buddy. Her real name was Virginia, and she picked Buddy. You know, I want... Okay, my uncle's name was Buddy. Loved him to death. We called him Bunkle Uddy. And my mother's sister was married to him. Her name was Catherine. I was named after um, Catherine and Elizabeth, the sisters. Well, they always called... Aunt, her name was Catherine, but they always called her Kitty. And I wanted them to call me Kitty when I grew up. But um, I was already... I was already Everybody already knew me as Kathy, so there went that dream. Gosh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait a minute. It goes this way. I'm just going to... You see how it's it's just a little troubled right right here? Okay, now that, that's going to bug me, so um, we're going we're gonna to cut it off. Cut it off. Hold on. I can do this. I know I can. There we go. Whew. Oh, doggies. Oh, dear. Okay, put that down. So, y'all, I got to tell you, I've been on Ninja Man because uh, your meemaw was Bertha. Fanny Crosby wrote beautiful Christian songs. Huh, I need to look that up. Um, so, y'all, the other day when I, when I did my... Well, I don't think it's been that long. I don't think it's been as long as when I did my last crafting, um, my last Dollar Tree crafting here. Okay, I gotta trim this one down some more. I thought I already did. Nope. Um but it's just as well. I don't think I could call you Kitty. I know, but I love that name. I just loved it and I love my Aunt Kitty. Um but anyway, y'all, my I left my glue gun on. Now, I gotta tell y'all, I've been on Ninja Man's case for leaving the um my mom wanted to name me Kitty. My maiden name is Fur. <laughs> Kitty Fur. <laughs> That's awesome. Jan, that is awesome. Oh my goodness. That is so funny. Um, but I left my glue gun on. I don't I don't know, was it on one evening or maybe I plugged it in and just forgot I plugged it in that day. I don't know, y'all, but um but I left it on. And I've been on I've been on uh Oh, hi, Renee. Your mom's name is Kitty. Now, is it really Catherine and they call her Kitty? Because that was my my aunt. Uh, and I'm named after her with the Catherine. But I didn't get to keep the Kitty. And I was so sad. But so, I've been on Ninja Man's case when he leaves, like, the stove on, y'all. Because, you know, we're old. And we don't want to be burning down the house, right? I mean, No. So I had to tell him, I said, listen, I left my hot glue gun on and I don't know if it's been on for a couple hours or days. I really don't know. I really don't know. And, um, all right, y'all, this, Jen, this is going to look amazing. Okay. So see what we're doing here? And, and this, oh, it's really kitty. Just kitty. That is so cool. Teresa, is it ether or Esther? Ethel. <laughs> Ether? <laughs> Ethel. Okay. Do does do they call her Ethel? Those are old names. They really are. Okay, so I was able to keep the, you know, the same kind of, you know, the same. 
Okay. Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done with the glue gun. I started to take off my little uh, protector here, but no. Um, yeah. So my my aunt my aunt Elizabeth, her name they called her Betty, as you can imagine, which I thought was really neat that um, I had an aunt named Betty because back in the day, the Archies little comic books that I read all the time. There uh, there was Betty on that one, and then there was Betty on the Flintstones. You know what? I kind of want to go over the paper. I do. I do. I'm going to go over the paper, so let's start that again. Let's see. Pearl, Ruby, and Opal. Oh, Mabel. She goes by Liz. Her middle name is Elizabeth. Great Aunt Martha. Yep. Martha's a a name from back in the day. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to start my twine here because I do want it to pick up the um, edges, to cover up the edges of the paper. She goes by Liz. Yes. I had, um, my mom's friend's name was Liz. The first um, job I got after, well, no, it wasn't the first job after I got married. I've worked forever, y'all. I have worked forever until recently when I retired. Um, but her name was Liz and she, she got me a job at, as a counts assistant something. I mean, I was 18, you know, um, some kind of an accountant help. I mean, all I did was, you know, put numbers in columns and add them up. That's pretty much all I did. But I worked at the Atlanta Heart and Lung Clinic. That's where, that's where Liz was the office manager. And I'll tell you what, that's that's some kind of place to work at. Um, I mean, like I said, I was I was eighteen, maybe nineteen. I don't even know. I know one of the doctors came flying in there one day, and he knew that I cross stitched because I brought it to work and I cross stitched in my lap, um, like a like on my lunch breaks and stuff. And he came in and flung his coat, his um, dress coat at me. He said, sew on this button. I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. And I'm like, aye, aye, Captain. And I saluted him. <laughs> I sewed it on. Or maybe it, maybe it was a, maybe, it seems like it was bigger than a button. It seems like the, the uh, sleeve had kind of come out. I don't remember. But um, the problem is, this particular doctor was too tall, too good looking, and he had too much money. So all of us women were just like, my, my, how can we help you, sir? You know, yeah. And now I look back and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> right? Oh, let's see. We got Janelle. No, Janet. Okay, we have Elsie and Florence. I, Renee, I just met an Elsie. She's from South Africa. I just met her a few few months ago. Jan, dad's eldest sister is Mavis. Brother changed his name from Augustus Julius. Wow, Augustus Julius to Ad Ad Alan James. Yeah, I, I understand that. I do. But Augustus Julius, I mean, if you can't be a Greek emperor, name your kid after one, right? Right? I'm just saying. Okay, here we go, y'all. We're we're oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. I tell you what, y'all. And I'm so excited that this paper is working so well on this. You know, we're probably gonna I'm probably gonna end up not today, but I'll end up doing all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, so yeah, so we're doing the um RV trip, y'all, and we don't have to drive it anywhere. They're gonna deliver it for us. And um <laughs> I, I gotta admit, I have that little that little thing in the back of my head going, what if it's a scam and we get all the way to Orange Beach and the only hotels we can find are like five hundred a night? We will be driving home and sleeping in the car with the dogs. Okay. Penelope, oh my gosh, I love that name. You know, my um my grandchild is Phoebe, and I love that. Stacy's grandmother's name, Roberta Ardith. Now, where did Ardith come from? I don't think I've ever heard that one. 
Is that a family name? Um, now it's, it's really cute. I have a, I call him my nephew, um, my cousin, cousin by marriage, her child. Um, he named his son, his mother's, no, his grandmother's maiden name, which is Davis. Edna, Stella, Winnie, and Zella. Stella and Zella, were they twins? I love these old names, y'all. Who else has some old names you can share with us? Um, oh, my dad had an Uncle Chalmus. Okay. Uncle Chalmus, apparently, now I, I don't want to give Uncle Chalmus a bad rap, but he kind of liked, he liked the, um, he, he liked the drink. Yeah, he did. Um, no, they were not twins. Okay. Um, as far as I recall, what Daddy was talking about, Uncle Chalmus, he he was quite inebriated most of the time. But I mean, it was a depression, you know. Um, I mean, you know, we we can't fault him too much, but um, but yeah, we can. <laughs> I mean, that's a terrible lifestyle. I'm just saying, Wilmer, Wilmer. Now that sounds German. Um, but. If I'm correct, my dad's uncle had a twin. And, I mean, the stories dad told, you know, because he was a little boy when these older guys were acting, acting foolish, you know. And they were probably big influences in his life because his dad um, passed away young. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. But we are, um, in my family, we had, uh, let's see, Carolyn Margaret, or Margaret Carolyn, I'm not sure. Um, Lemon or Lemon? Lemon and Hubert. Um, Carolyn Margaret, I think. Barbara Jean, and I've, I like the name Barbara Jean. Robert David. And then me, Catherine Elizabeth. And one day I said to my mama, who was tired, uh, Dad's brother had a still during the Depression. I, I'm kind of thinking Uncle Chalmers did too. Gloria, niece's name is Eleanor, and we call her Nora. That's pretty. Marilyn had a great Uncle Jack. My grandson's name is Jack. I hope it's after my husband's father because he was precious. We loved him to death. But y'all, did you know you don't have to name a baby when you're in the hospital? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I mean, I don't know about the hospital. But Jack was born at um, the midwife center, right? And they bring him home. And I'm like, what's his name? What's his name? They said, oh, we haven't decided. They, they had five days. I mean, we just called him the baby for five whole days. And then... And then all that time taken, and they came up with, um, they came up with, with Jack, which I love the name. I think it's so cute, and it fits him perfectly well, but I'm like, it took five days, you know. Um, Teresa, Paul, Paul Fred's had a still up in the mountains, and Marilyn, both of her grandpas had hard stills. Yeah, had stills. You didn't get your name till you were 10 days old. Heather's dad's name was Walter. Had a brother, Chester, went by Jack. Their parents were Lester and Lena. Walter, Chester, Lester, and Lena. Wow. I love these old names, y'all. What a neat topic today. What a neat topic. And y'all, I'm such a names person, and you know how shy I am, right? Right. Um, when I hear a an unusual name, I'll straight up ask them, how, how did you, how did you come by that name? You know, or if it's their last name and it's something I've never heard, you know, I'm like, what is the origin of that name? And I'm just always interested. I used to work for a man. It's so funny. I was thinking about this literally two days ago, worked for these two men. I got a story about that, of course, that I'll tell you. Um, one was Narvel Yance. Now, now that I'm grown, I realize that was probably some 
Norwegian, Scandinavian. He was uh, he was bald, but he was pale, like you know, like skin. Not, not that Scandinavians are pale, but I mean, he was he was he was pale. And I, I don't know, but the name made me think of you know something Scandinavian. I probably asked him, but I don't recall. His partner's name was Harold. Um, mama, your mama Stella had 14 siblings. Yeah, they, they grew them big back then. Um, Stacy's maternal grandfather's name, Vernon Andrew. How about that? That's, that's a good name. Um, but Norvell Yance, y'all, he was, he was one partner of two. And his buddy, his partner, was Harold, Harold Breath. Breffel, I think, I think it was Breffel, B-R-E-F-F-L-E maybe, I don't know, and, um, and y'all, Harold, I didn't know what was wrong with him because I was very young, but come to find out he was an alcoholic, and, because he'd come in and, well, he'd come out of his office and stumble and all that, and Narvell would get him and put, take him in his office and close the door, and I figured, you know, maybe he, he was sick or something. I didn't know. I hadn't been around stumbling alcoholics. My dad definitely drank, but not to that point in front of me. Um, but he did. He had, dad had scotch almost every night of his life. Um, but anyway, so Harold would get like that. Well, one day, you know, I've, I've always been a little sassy. Okay. And one day, um, Gloria's husband is Manfred Herbert, named after the Red Baron. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. Um, so one day, Harold strolls in, and he's like sideways. Like, it's probably 11, and maybe, I don't know what time of day it was, but it wasn't first thing in the morning. Dude is sideways. He's like hanging onto the wall and stuff. And he was a, not, not big like, shoulders and heavy big but tall he had to have been i don't know i don't even know but he had to have been six six or six seven he was he was a very tall man and it was a moving and storage company here in the atlanta area and um yeah he came in and i'm telling y'all what he walked over to the coffee pot turned back to me and started cussing me for everything in the world and come to find out, um, that wasn't a good idea. It, it wasn't. Um, he was cussing me because there wasn't any coffee made. Well, I, I don't make coffee, dude. I've already told your partner that. I, mm -mm, I don't do your laundry, and I don't make your coffee. I mean, seriously, I did tell them that when they hired me. And so he, he was cussing and yelling, and this guy came out of the warehouse. And, okay, the guy that came out of the warehouse... He didn't have a car. He was a big guy. Okay. And I mean big, like all over big, but he wasn't as tall as Harold, of course. Um, but he didn't have a car and I would either loan him my car or go get his lunch just because that's who I was. You know I mean? I wasn't gonna, I, I just, I just like to help people. So he and I were already buddies, so to speak. He heard Harold yelling at me and cussing at me and throwing things and punching the wall and all this. And dude comes flying out of the warehouse and pinned him up against the wall, pointed at me and said, go home now. I went home and I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, I was a, you know, 18, 19 years old. I don't even know. I didn't have kids yet. So I was just married. I was just a baby. And dude tells me to go home. I'm going home. And whatever happened after that, I don't know. But Harold didn't show up for quite a while. Uh, quite a while. I don't know if... I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if they sent him to the Ha Ha Hotel to cool off or or um, or what. But Norvell called me at home, you know, back in the day when we had phones on our walls. You know, I, he had to wait till I got home. So he gave me about an hour. I got home. And um, he called me and apologized for what happened. And he said, it's been handled and it will not, never happen again. And I said, well, I never, ever want to be alone in that office with that man again. Because I, I really thought, you know, this this might this might not go well. 
um, when he started his little tantrum. And uh, Norvell said he's he's been uh, he's been instructed not to come in if if I'm not here. I said, alrighty then. And that's how that's how that stopped. That's how that ended. Of course, I didn't work there long, you know. Being a kid, I definitely found greener pastures. Probably with my friend Liz. I I don't know. I don't know when I went to work at her place. Now what am I doing? I wanted to make like a X. Oh dear, that was not good. Okay, we can fix that. I wanted to make like, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so, you know, those things happen. But um, I guess he was already drunk when he came in. I mean, that's, you know, that's all I could figure. But he didn't, he didn't, he didn't hang around long. You know what, Jan? Um, he was put in his place permanently. That's when you know that you have good friends, right? Exactly, exactly. And and I think the guy would have done what he did anyway. Um, and and by the way, he definitely got the best of the old man. Um, he definitely got the best of him for the moments that I that I saw it. But um, but oh, Jan, I'm thinking. I'm going to go over there and get some of my little trinkets and, and hang on here, too. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I'm loving it. Okay. Okay. So I've got a little boo-boo right here, but but I can fix that. I can fix it. We're getting close, y'all. We are getting close. How do y'all like it? I really do. I want this X to be a little more centered. I can do that. Yep. Okay, here we go. This big old pink finger's in my way. Here we go. There. Okay, let me go grab my um my trinkets just a minute. I put them up just like a week ago. And here I go getting them back. <coughs> oh, come on now. Here we go. Here we go. I got some. I got some. Okay, this is my um the, just little trinket things, you know. Um, great idea. Super cool. These are cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so see, we could put, like, we could put this heart on. Oh, goodness, I love it, y'all. The heart. And my muffin's cooling off, y'all. Look, it's got blueberries. Look at the blueberries. Oh, my goodness. I got to taste it. Oh, y'all. Mmm. That man knows his way to my heart. I had this on there on something one day. I don't know what. Okay. I think. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. I've got a little Brad. Just a little Brad. Okay. I'm going to put it through my heart. Put it through my heart. I'm going to find a little. <laughs> I said find. And I'm telling you, I picked this up. It says find. Can you see it? Find? Yes, taste test. Oh, um, Heidi, they came off the the bush and into the um, recipe. Hmm. I do like it. I, I like having the little, the little thing there. I know what I'll do. I think. I think, I think. Yeah, I will. I'm going to put this through that. The word is life. I, I chose the word life. And y'all, I've seen a lot of uh, crafts made with Scrabble tiles. I cannot fall in love with those Scrabble tiles. I just can't. I just can't. I don't know why I just, well, I'm, I do know why I thought about it because I watched a video earlier today. And, um, and this little box reminds me of how, um, how she organized her Scrabble tiles. And I mean they're cute, but I just I can't I can't get on board. I I think it's because they're squares, and I do not like um, geometric shapes. Um, it it could be that, or it could be that there's a number in the corner. I I don't know. I haven't given it a whole lot of psychological um, consideration. Okay, y'all. Here's what we're doing. Let's see if you can see this. See if you can go down. Come on now. There we go. All right. Boop. Okay. Boop. 
flip him over here. Oh, boop. Okay, okay. Now I want to make sure he's going to hang properly, so i got to turn him this way. Oh, he's one of those hot potatoes. He don't want to stay. He doesn't. All right. Well, you wait right there while I work with the heart for just a minute. Okay, so I've got my little Brad in the heart. I just picked up the gray one. I think I've got, yeah, I've got darker color ones. Uh-oh. Well, I just popped one out, so I'll use him. Here we go. I got a darker one. Put my gray one here and this gray one there. Okay. And I still think I need to go to Hobby Lobby, y'all. Heidi has blueberry bushes, too. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Renee, what is it about the tiles? What is it we don't like about the tiles? Yes, exactly. There's a time and place, but not on every craft. And I'm like, what in the world is it that I don't like about the tiles? So I'm just putting my little, um, it's not even really, really needing the bread, but I'm just putting it on there. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. There we go. Okay. So put the knot up like this. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to put it, we're going to lay it down right in the middle. Oh, oh y'all, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I love it, I love this. Jan, you made it, you made this craft gorgeous. Thank you. I'll tell you what, Jan's idea of putting twine on, and if it hadn't taken so long, I would have gone paper twine, paper twine, and I'm gonna twine the top too, right here. I'm go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see if I do it right, y'all. Nope. I always do it fast. Bass backwards, as Mama used to say. <laughs> Bass backwards. Okay. <laughs> Never have been able to do that. But look. Look, y'all. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, the, the tiles are plain. They are. Um, are you talking about the raspberry? Wild red. Wild red. Ra I can't say it. Marilyn said wild red raspberry bushes and you said they're plain now I don't know if that's your raspberry or if you're talking about the scrabble tiles um we're gonna go around this top y'all and it's a lot easier because it's on the end and I can just go zoomy zoom okay I don't have to and I'm putting everything you know where the seam is I, that's where I'm putting the the business end okay we're like um, business in the front, party in the back is what we're really doing. So this is the party part where they're just like haphazardly everywhere. Okay, um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up now. This candle here, it it won't be a big deal at all to use the candle, but these here, I've never lit them. Number one, I actually had to dust them off, y'all. I had to dust them off, um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't plan to burn these. They're just gonna be pretty. They're, that's all. They're just going to be pretty. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're almost done, y'all. Almost done. I'm going to I'm gonna snip it right here. Snip it. And go and boop. There we go. So, y'all, when I go on my little mini vacation, um, it's not a mini vacation, y'all. We're going to be gone a week. But, but like I said, we're taking our puppy dogs. My, um, my dog sitter is not available. And let me tell you why we don't take them to a kennel. Um, many years ago, when we first moved to Savannah, okay, 20 years ago, we first moved to Savannah, our dogs had enjoyed living out in the wild forever. And, um, I mean, they lived in our house, but, I mean, we could let them outside, and they would go play on, you know, a hundred and something acres. And um, they'd come immediately when we called. I mean, they were not outside dogs. I've, I don't like an outside dog situation. But anyway, so we took them to, um, we, we moved to Savannah, and I spent a lot of time in the yard teaching them that this was their yard because it was a subdivision, and it was like, three quarters of an acre. I don't even know, but we put in a tall fence and we taught them this is your yard and they were fine. And one was uh, the size of an Irish wolfhound. He's, he was an Irish wolfhound shepherd mix, huge dog. And um, his buddy was Petunia. Now his name was O'Reilly. His buddy was Petunia and she was a beagle mix. Or no, she was just beagle. 
Anyway, um, I'm just going to put these like this so y'all can see them. So I'm going to tell y'all this quick story and then we're done. So, um, y'all, we, we were going to come up here to where we used to live to see my family for Christmas and everything. We were gone, I think, three nights, and we took them to the nearest, the, the vet that they used. Um, anyway, long story short, we got home. I, I went to get the dogs. They had to wash them first. So I didn't understand that. And I literally waited two and a half hours to get my dogs. Okay. And I'm like, what? you don't have to bathe them. I want to bring them home. You know, I kept telling them. And like, like people would come for their little doggy appointment, be in there for 45 minutes and leave. I mean, this happened over and over while I was waiting. Finally, they brought my dogs out. My dogs were hysterical. They were barking. They were jumping. They were just, yes, they were excited to see me. Right. So I thought, so I walk them out front and they start uh, relieving themselves in every way possible over and over and over. The, your little thingies have a compass or a clock face in it. That may look good on the big candle at the top. This one up here, put it here. Um, so y'all, I got outside with them and and they were just they could not stop relieving themselves and um that's all I've got there and it's too big but it's a compass um put the wings there so I get them home and y'all they are they are frantic they are absolutely frantic they start digging under the fence they went crazy they just went crazy and I I called the vet and um this lady was like, well, I'll have, I'll have Dr. Boudreaux, whatever his name is, call you back. He calls me back and he said, because I told him, I said, something's going on with my dogs. They were going crazy, yada, yada. And, um, and then he calls me back and he says, Ms. Bohannon, I don't know how to tell you this, but your dogs were forgotten the whole time. They were, they were there alone the whole time. And, I mean, one is an Irish Wolfhound mix. <sighs> yeah. Jan, what do you think of these wings on there? Yep, wing in a prayer. That'd be sweet. But, um, but yeah, so we, we never put a dog in any kind of thing like that. We hire people to stay in our home. And it's peace of mind, you know, um, that, that, I mean, that happened. Now, one time my dog had to go to the vet and, um, the vet told, this was a different vet. Of course, we never went back there. Um, the veterinarian told me, she said, you know, she's got to stay, she's got to stay overnight. And I started crying. I was like, no, 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 no. This is our baby. We can't, I mean, my kids were grown and gone. I'm like, no, 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 no. She can't stay overnight. Um. So the veterinarian took her home with her. She really did. She took her home and kept her in a little crate, sent me pictures, all this stuff, loved on her. And I was just like, thank you. You know, the good Lord puts good people in your path. He really does. He really does. And, um, and y'all, that's a prayer, by the way. I ask God to put kind and uh, knowledgeable people in my path when I'm going through rough things. Who doggies, you better put on your seatbelt. When you pray that prayer, man, people just come out from everywhere to help you. Okay, y'all. So this is our craft today. Um, distracts from the rest. That's what. That's why I hadn't put it down. I thought it was too much. Um, it'd be good if there was just this, you know. Okay. Well, it's over there now. Um, <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out. We got our candles done. And um, hope y'all, here we go. Here we go. Hope y'all like it. I sure do. I sure do. I love the shorter ones, the little ones. We're going to put those on the um, on the fireplace. And there we go. Thank y'all for hanging out. God bless. And please tune in Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. to see what Stampin' Up! is up to over here. All right? <laughs> love y'all. God bless. And toodles.